of every possession. Five spots. There's one reason and one reason only that Rondo is playing the way he's been playing at the NBA Finals MVP level that he's been playing at since he's been back, and that's Phil Handy. You know, Phil was in Toronto last year working with uh, the Toronto Raptors players and improving on their shooting. That's why you see Siakam and OG ain't nobody. He was a somebody. He's uh, improving on footwork, precision, and how to shoot and keep your body balanced while shooting. Even after doing high-speed moves, how to get back and still maintain your balance. See, and improving on the shots. As we've seen, he shoots more of a steady shot than before when he was with the Celtics and he was younger. Older players, they get a better shot, like um, I believe Mark Jackson was saying during the broadcast. You know, when you get older, you saw Jason Kidd, who never had a jump shot later in his career, develop one. And he had a pretty decent shot from at least a three when he was at the older, more mature point of his age. I don't know who is that Rondo working out, but he giving him the business. <laughs> And Ron looking like, damn, man, yeah, we got to start Rondo. I remember I was saying a video like, is Rondo going to be the savior of the Los Angeles Lakers? And, man, I got to take that back because he is. To me, him and Anthony Davis have more impact on the game than LeBron James. And that's going to be a video coming up soon, too, so get ready for that. But we're going to wait until the finals is over before we make that uh, video. You know, but as of right now, as it stands, you can see Rondo is on point, you know, and this is why I always told people, like, hey, give some credit to Phil, you know, not Phil Jackson, Phil Handy. And when he got over there, and I was telling y'all all season long, that's the real coach as far as skill set and everything else and working with players to get them better. Phil gets you better. That's what he does. He works on whatever flaws you have and try to make them better. Well, he was working with LeBron in Cleveland for a while, but LeBron, he was mostly there to work with other players more than LeBron. You know, LeBron wasn't really sold in, you know, like, I, I can do my own thing. I'm already good. So, you know, if LeBron wanted to be a part of it, now, you see how he getting off? Bron gonna want some of that. Oh, you know how Bron is. Bron see all that happening with Rondo? Like, man, Rondo out here killing everybody. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no matter who they putting on him, he's just taking them. That was a dumb move there. Rondo just cooking them. Uh, give me that. Give me that. What? What? Uh, uh, uh. Get to my spot. Pull. Drop. Look at Bron looking at that. Man. What, Rondo cooking? <laughs> yep. <clears throat> so, Rondo been playing at this level because people have allowed it to. I think that if you play zone and don't believe Rondo can shoot, you're basing it off of what Rondo used to do, not being able to perform like this. I think you need to play man, get up on him, Make them prove it. You know, I, I think with Bam, they can get back to playing, man. 
then you could switch the zone on occasion. So when you got the right personnel, <clears throat> yeah, I was getting cooked on mad. <laughs> <clears throat> I was up 26 to like 15 or 26 12 and lost. I didn't score no more in the game. Game just got out of control. I got Gavin mentally distracted me and lost me the game. That's all right, though. I'm going to get it back. Yeah, I just bought Madden 21. If you see your state. I never felt as if. See, that's the thing with me and everybody else. Um, I never felt that I needed to have someone's, uh, like, authorization for things when it came to basketball. Like, I know the game, so I... I didn't need to have someone else's approval on what they thought about the player. <laughs> like, man, you ain't think so and so's good? I'm gonna be like, I watched him play, and nah, he's all right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I know when somebody's all right, and I know when somebody's good. You know, like really good. Now, me, my job when I played basketball was never really to lay the ball up, but I knew how. You know, I knew how to lay the ball up. I knew people's tendencies on the basketball court. <clears throat> so if you can defensively, defense came before my offense. I told you guys, when I first learned, defense came before my offense. I could systematically just play defense. Because I was a football player. I played football. That's what I did every weekend, every Sunday. It was football day. We go outside and play football for like 10, 12 hours just playing football. So football was our sport. And believe me, there was no one better at it than me. Whether it was cornerback, quarterback, receiver, you wasn't going to have nobody better than me at what I do. Now, Here's the situation. When I switched over to basketball, I'm already athletic because I played football. So defense came natural. I knew how to be there, knew what guys like to do, and took it away. So I knew how to stay with guys, body them up without fouling, jump in, jump out. You know, I had quick reflexes. And you need to have quick reflexes in basketball. You think I'm quick now? Shoot, I was 10 times quicker 20 years ago. <laughs> so, man, like, if I'm quick now, imagine how quick I was then with my reflexes. And I had great hands. So when I switched to basketball, I knew how to take away what other people like to do and get to what I was good at. And I was the only thing I was good at that time was shooting from the corner. I learned how to do layups and everything else. I would practice for hours, laying up on each side with each hand and knowing how to lay the ball up, taking one and a half steps. You go one and a half and you go. You know, how to use your body to shield off the defender to lay it up. Use the left hand. Don't be afraid to use your left hand for the layup. You got two hands. You got to learn how to use it because it's going to be a situation where you need it. We've seen a lot of NBA players, they can't use both hands to lay it up off the glass. You know, you see people like Kyrie Irving, who you could tell spent great time learning and getting proper English on the, on the you know, the backboard when they get towards the rim. You know, he's basically a three-point play waiting to happen because, you know, he got good English around the rim. Have a million-dollar move with a five-dollar finish. <laughs> Equals up to nothing. You know? So.
you got to have uh, the whole, you got to have the whole enchilada. You know, Dame Lillard is another person who could finish at the rim. He has good English at the rim. You know, so it's it's a give and take league. You know, Rondo's transitioning to this league where his passing skills as a point guard playing old school basketball compared to now, he has to be an efficient shooter when mostly LeBron is, um, you know, being more of the stand standalone guard. But if you ask me, Rondo's contributions to the team has been more important to me than any other person on the team, even Anthony Davis, because he could change he changes the flow of the game when he comes in. He's more impactful. His distribution of the basketball is second level to none. When it comes to we need to give people the ball and make sure X, Y, and Z gets done, I trust Rondo to get it done more than I would trust anybody else on the court. So I, I've just been trying to, you know, get through things more than trying to Where's my mom? hello hey that hey. was funny i called you up to you and as you can see you know rondo's worked with every single player on the team you know working with their passing and shooting and this is how you build a rapport so they can get used to catching passes from you and know how, you know, he deliver passes from right, zipping it around people. So you can get comfortable when the game is on and you see, you know, all of these things happening in motion. So, <clears throat> most definitely. Uh, Rondo is, to me, the most valuable or the most game-changing person in the in the whole finals right now. More impactful than that. The court. You shall not be dangerous. <laughs> 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 check I've always told you Phil Handy was the reason for the Lakers players um, like Rondo 
And that's why LeBron wanted to get him away from Kawhi and bring him over there to the Lakers. Because he knows how important Phil is with getting players ready for big time moments. You know, like, it's going to get physical in the box. Go ahead and do your thing. You know, hanging on you, what you're going to do. You know, turn left, right. You know, Braun only going to show you his highlights. You know, none of the lowlights. Break. But, hey, it went in. <laughs> you know, what you expect. The guy's a bum. <laughs> Stick dribbling, you know. But this is, you know, his skill set, knuckleball. Yep, knuckler. It went in. Look at stick dribbling, baby. No moves. There it is. Uh, for me, I look at things a little differently, you know. Um... I don't want to make a, this a LeBron hate video, you know, because we don't like him. Now, the thing of it is this. Phil knows how to teach basketball. He knows how to teach movements. He knows how to improve players. What he can't give you is the heart. He can't give you the mental. He tries to instill the confidence in you and work on your mental strength and give you the confidence to overcome it. You know, but it's up to the individual. You know, and LeBron don't work with Phil. He saw Rondo was getting off with Phil and wanted to get out there and shoot with Phil, do some work with him. LeBron don't be out there with Phil like this. He saw Rondo was getting off and said, let me get out here and we'll do some works with Phil. You know, it's all for the cameras and all this stuff, so don't get it. Don't get too right now. caught into that. You know, it is what it is. Uh, don't forget, man, you can always donate to my page. Hit my cash app up, which is Carcino, K-A-R-C-E-N-O. You already know. So put some respect on Phil Handy's name. And for all you LeBron fans who don't know anything about basketball, Get that man his respect, because he got Rondo playing at an all-star level, man. He got him playing better than what he, he you know, got him playing like he should have been playing for a lot of years. You know, Rondo's problem has always been injuries. He stays injured, you know, whether it's a hand, whether it's a thumb. It's a play where you don't even know he's hurt. And he didn't tore a ligament in his hand, you know, so he's had a lot of rough years with injuries, you know, and. These are the type of things that when you're young, you know, he wasn't a very good shooter. People used to leave him open for threes, you know, and he couldn't deliver on those big shots. So now he's more confident in taking them because he knows he's been putting in the work. So here you guys, uh, some of you guys are probably new and never really got a chance to see some footage like this that I get to see all the time, you know, because I got connections. <laughs> So I get to see guys practice. I get to see guys, you know, shoot around, you know, what they would allow. And I get to evaluate and see talent and see players develop. So for me, it was nothing to watch, you know, this process take place, you know, and see like, okay, Rondo was doing this, but will he be able to do it in the game? You know, will he be able to showcase his skills? You know, because it's a, it's a whole different world from doing it in front of, like, everybody in the crowd. And then, you know, when it's time to do it for real, you know, you and I delivering, so. Well, you know, you got to, um, Sometimes you got to evaluate how you're doing things and how you're, you know, bringing things to the table or to the light because, you know, it could go against you very quickly, you know, so let's just keep that in perspective. Feel me? All right. <laughs> I just want to know if you feel me. Um, 
if you want to, you know, we could take a look at Kyle Kuzma. You know, he spent a lot of time getting Kuzma right. You know, getting Kyle to make better decisions. You know, you got to be able to think quick and react quick when it comes to the league. So Kyle Kuzma is an experiment, and, you know, it's, it takes every day of learning. So when you hear this idiot talking about, I ain't got no flaws in my game, you know, you, you know, it's him. You know, as you see, you know, Kyle Kuzma, you know, doing what he got to do. You know, you got to humble yourself and realize that you might not know everything. There might be something out there you don't know. This is why you're here, to enhance what you do know and maybe learn or pick up a little things that somebody want to do differently. You know, so it's all about improvement, man. And if you're not about getting better, then you're playing the wrong game. Just playing the wrong game. Because everybody should be striving to be better. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all. I got him. Come on, man. Come on, Right there. 